Hello everyone. Let's try to solve this question from the chapter Electric Charges and Fields. Let's go through the question and try to understand what is given in the question. A hollow cylindrical box of length 0.5 meter and area of cross section 20 cm square is placed in a three dimensional coordinate axis as shown in the figure. So this is the three dimensional coordinate system and this is the cylindrical box. The length of the cylindrical box is 0.5 meter and the area of cross section this is 20 centimeter square. So area of cross section is denoted by S. So the question is that the electric field in the region is given by E equals to 20x I cap. That means it is in x direction and it is also depending on the x coordinate. Where E that is electric field is unit of Newton per coulomb and x is in meters. So we have to find the net flux through the cylinder and the charge enclosed in the cylinder. So the expression of the electric field is 20 x i cap. Okay. So in the figure even let's say that even is the electric field at left circular face this left circular face is at a distance of 0.5 meter from the origin so this will be 20 into 0 0.5 i cap which is equal to 10 i cap Similarly, E2 is equal to at right circular face is equal to 20 into here the net distance from the origin is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 that is 1 meter. So this is nothing but 20 I cap. So the first part is to find the net flux through the cylinder. The expression is like E dot ds which is nothing but integral of E1 into the area ds plus E2 into area ds plus e into ds for curved surface. As we can see that first expression is for this one that is the left surface. The second expression is for the right surface and the third is for the curved section. This, this is the curved section. So, this is from here E1 equals to 10 and E2 equals to 20. So, E1 equals to 10 into 20. This is centimeter square. So, we will try to convert it into meter square by dividing it by 100 and 100. So, here its direction will be in this direction. So, my negative sign will be put. Now, since it's in the second case, what we see that its direction is in this direction, so positive sign will be here. And its E2 is 20 into same thing, area that is 20 by 100 into 100, this is nothing but 20 is changed, centimeter square is changed to meter square by dividing. 
100 into 100 and for the curved surface since the area vector is perpendicular to the electric field vector so the dot product will be 0 so this comes out to be 10 into 20 by 100 into 100 which is nothing but 0 0.02 newton meter square per coulomb so this is the answer for our first part now in second part it has asked to find the charge enclosed in the cylinder so as we know that the expression for the charge enclosed and the net flux is like net flux is equals to charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught so our net flux is 0 0.02 and let our net charge be small q and the value of epsilon naught is 8.85 into 10 power minus 12 so after solving this we get the value of our charge to be 0 0.177 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb so this is the answer for our second part that is to find the net charge and close